Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. Uh, one of my uh, aunts, my uh, father's only remaining sister, uh, will turn 80 uh, next month. She's at a point in life where she's experiencing some memory issues, and so her daughter, knowing that we couldn't really gather um, for the birthday, has asked us to write letters to her mom. Uh, in these days, her mom enjoys rereading old letters that she has from her parents and siblings and kids. And, and so it's just a beautiful experience to sit down and uh, remember my Aunt Eileen and to put down uh, memories on paper or on the computer and then print them out uh, because otherwise she wouldn't be able to read my writing. I'm not sure if you've ever had the opportunity to do this, right? So often we share memories about someone after they've passed, but it's such a beautiful gift as I sit here uh, to, to really show appreciation for another human being family member, coworker, friend, someone who has had an impact on your life in ways that maybe you haven't thought about until you're forced to sit down and write a letter like I'm writing. I encourage you to do so. Pick one of your relatives, maybe a sibling, maybe someone you worked with years ago, maybe someone from the church, and sit down and write a letter. Share the memories of how their life has impacted yours. In the great plan of God, we're not just here by accident. God, in a very intentional way, places us in one another's lives so that we could be a source of blessing, grace, goodness for one another. And it's good for us to stop and realize how others have done that for us as an encouragement for us to do it for others. Why not sit down someday this weekend and write a letter? If you got good handwriting, you could actually write it out. If you're like me, do it on the computer. It's a beautiful thing. Remember, so many of the New Testament letters from Paul were just that, Paul writing letters of encouragement, letters of gratitude. And here we are 2,000 years later, just so grateful for them. Do it with that in mind. Let us pray. Lord God, we praise and thank you for all the people in our life who have been a blessing for us. May we have grateful hearts and may we have the opportunity either through a letter or a phone call or through face-to-face -face conversation to tell them how grateful we are. Lord, we continue to pray for an end to this pandemic, healing for those who are suffering, wisdom for those who are finding a vaccination. Lord, be with parents as they make decisions about the return to school and be with teachers as they make prudent plans. Lord, guide our nation. Guide our nation in the midst of great diversity of thought. Help us know you who are the way, the truth, and the life forever and ever. And may God bless you in your goodness, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye.